They probably think I'm really weird by now. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> I don't think you guys realize how much of an ego trip it is for people to like scream and shout and like come to your shows, but I really appreciate everyone being here. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I used to live right down there in a, t in a smaller apartment than I had, than I have now, which is weird because my apartment is already pretty small for three people. You want to be good at it, but also have a normal life. You kind of like shut down during your normal life and just kind of like lounge around and reserve all your energy until you get on stage and then everything comes out and you're like crazy and whatever. Scream. Like a performer. So when I first came down to San Diego, I, I didn't know anybody. I had, I had one good friend that lived here, and I had next to no experience of playing open mics or playing anywhere other than like my bedroom. So it was immediately a struggle to come down here, and I didn't even have a job, so I was like unemployed for five months. I started writing a lot and um, started recording an EP, and that presented all of its own challenges. I'd never done that before. I wish that I had taken a little bit more time to write songs and to have a better sense of what I wanted out of the EP. Because, you know, as it is now, like I, I look back on it as a really nice timepiece. It's definitely not something that I would be like overly emphatic about pushing on people. It had kind of crept up on me that I'd been playing in San Diego for about three years and I got to the point where I was like seriously questioning whether or not I wanted to keep writing the type of music that I was writing because it's very heady and very kind of like uh, intellectual um, on multiple levels I think uh, but I kind of put that all aside and refocused my energy on just continuing to write what I like to hear. So hopefully, I mean, hopefully that works. I mean, I mean, that's really the biggest struggle that I've had in the last six months or so in terms of music. I kind of had a, a mini breakdown in like May or something because I was really kind of struggling with where the band was and where I wanted to be and it had kind of crept up on me that I'd been playing in San Diego for about three years. The guys that I play with are just phenomenal. Like they are just professional musicians that will kill people with their instruments. Capital K, capital E, capital N, little N, capital Y. No, that's actually upside down U. Truth be told, I'm, I'm constantly a nervous person. Uh, I am awkward on stage and I, I get very I get very uh, clammy when I when I think about performing in front of people, like you know, constantly trying to fight for acceptance and and everything that's associated with that. And I say goodbye before we speak. I work at the University of San Diego. Plug. <laughs> my night job is being a musician, and um, I'm trying to make that my day job. Well, my mom and dad are very supportive um, of my uh, hobby. So I'm just going to say that I'm going last, and they were the headliners. 
But uh, this is a song that I wrote about wanting to be famous really, really badly. And um, don't complain, because I know where you live. Do you understand why you treat it this way? Ready for this? Like, like, like. This is gonna be like. amazing. Let's just, let's just do it. Oh, okay. Okay. 